Hello, and welcome to Northwoods Renaissance. I'll give you three guesses about what we're going to talk about today, but you're only going to need one. While you guys have been farting around watching Game of Thrones and Orange is the New Black, I've been working on my challenge coin collection. And by working on, I mean showing up to work, and these kind of keep getting handed to me for doing stuff that I would have done anyway, but I, uh, I am pleasant about conducting my duties, and... Uh, being pleasant will carry you a long way. So, here's what we'll cover. Uh, a little bit about the appearance of challenge coins, the history, and my first experience with challenge coins, and then uh, we'll look at some of the examples that I have here. Not too much in depth. I think we'll, there's enough information to do a full video on each one of these challenge coins and talk a little bit, bit about the heraldry and the units that they came from. So, without further ado, let's dive in. In the late 90s, I was in the Army National Guard as a mechanized infantryman. And our mission for annual training that evening was to defend a position, so we dug our fighting emplacements. And uh, I was armed with a M16A2 at the time that had a 203 grenade launcher on it. And obviously we were issued blanks, so it was a, a Op 4, Blue 4 kind of experience. So there was live people coming at us from the other end who were using the military Integrated Laser Engagement System, or the MILE system, for laser tag. And uh, in my allotment of goods with my blanks, uh, the, my staff sergeant handed me a case of flares for the 203 grenade launcher. And my instructions were when we were attacked, I was to keep those flares in the air and illuminate the battlefield so that we could uh, execute our targets. We succeeded, and after the uh, operation, we had a after-action review with a lieutenant colonel and he singled me out and said where is that soldier with the 203 launcher and the flares you guys you made that defense infinitely easier for your, the guys in your unit I'd like to present you this challenge coin now unfortunately that challenge coin is lost in a move or to antiquity possibly at my parents house but I haven't seen it since I moved to Hawaii so, uh, it's gone. I'd love to get another one someday. We'll see. It's on my list of to-dos to go back to my National Guard unit and track down a replacement. So that was my first encounter with the Challenge coin. Uh, the history of these is murky. Uh, some say that it goes back to the Romans where they were distributed coins to their units to show which unit they were in. Other people say it's more of a Renaissance thing, uh, show who your patron was. And uh, they certainly go back to World War II, where they were given out uh, completion of schools, stuff like that. Now, the ones you see in front of you are largely Navy. There's one Marine one. Uh, I've got one, let's see, the Marine one's over here. I've got one from a uh, JROTC from the Air Force, who I work with every year or so. And then uh, the one you see right here. My prized possession is, I wouldn't call it a challenge coin, but it is a wooden nickel that we put together for our 2014 Northwoods Land Shark Expedition. That's shorthand for my vacation. We got the compass rose on there, the land shark, and uh, if you look closely, that is a, a badger. So, I'm pretty pleased with that guy. In the not too distant future, I'm going to get a Northwoods Renaissance wooden nickel put together. So that'll be fun to hand out when I'm home on vacation. And uh, if this is something you're interested in, uh, wouldn't you know the guy with the laser CNC machine is a close personal friend of mine. That's where I get all this. And the, he made this display case with the vinyl cutouts, and he also did the uh, uh, Land Shark Expedition coins in uh, both. I believe that's a walnut, and then that's a vinyl where he threw a coat of blue paint on there and lasered the blue paint off. So, pretty classy. Anyway, if that's something you'd be interested in, he does custom designs. He can do coasters and all kinds of stuff. Wall hangings, kids portraits on wood if you want. So, if that's something you're interested in, you can get a hold of him at timcower at gmail.com. That's T-I-M-K-A-U-E-R at gmail.com. And he assured me that turnaround is about two weeks on projects. And if you email him and tell him what your idea is, I'm sure he can help you out. And you can do, you know, custom buttstocks on guns. You want your magazine 
for your rifle monograms you name it that guy's uh got plenty of options at his disposal anyway that concludes our session on challenge coins for general overview uh, i think we really knocked it out of the park here and we'll cover some of these coins in the near future in detail uh, i think we've said all we need to say about the the land shark expedition and uh, it's been a pleasure as always if anyone asks you about a challenge coin or presents one you can say that you are indeed armed with information on the topic and as always will look like a true northwoods renaissance man thank you